Hey everybody, Dr. Dave Marquis here, and I had a few thoughts that I wanted to share with you regarding our food chain, our food supply. The first time this thought came to me was a little bit over a decade ago when my wife and I were on a weekend trip and we found ourselves in Santa Monica, California, and there's a, a street there that a lot of people go down because no cars drive on it called the Third Street Promenade, and just off of that street there's a British store, and they basically specialize in imports from the European Union. And I thought, hey, let's go see what this is all about. So we walked inside, and it was basically like a mini mart. It had all sorts of different food items there, things that you would see in just about any mini mart here in the US, excepting they came from the UK. And I thought, well, what makes them different? So I started to walk around the room and I was picking up things like M&Ms and Snickers and boxes of cereal and bread and other items. And I'm a, I'm a label reader. And so I started to go through some of the labels and I noticed the main difference was that there was no artificial flavorings, colorings, dyes, preservatives. It was just food. And I thought, well, that's really unique. So like there was no artificial sweeteners in there. It was actually sugar. There was no red dye number 40 or blue dye number one. They, they actually had blueberry food coloring and raspberry coloring for the, the candies. And I thought, well, this is the same corporation that makes the candies that we get here in the United States. Why are they getting different things in the, in the UK? Flash forward to now. Well, you've probably seen a lot of press about some of the things relative to nanotechnology in food. And some of the nanotechnology has been put into food to allow for food to have longer shelf life and to make it look prettier. For example, titanium dioxide. It's found in just about anything that's white that you might purchase. So if it's like gum um, or a frosting or your toothpaste, you're generally going to find titanium dioxide in there. And you might not even think, is this a nanotechnology? I mean, it might not even be on your radar. How it came to my radar is that I saw that the European Union two years ago had banned all titanium dioxide and nanotechnology in general. And I thought, well, why are they doing that? And this memory of when I had gone down to that store came back to my mind. So I started to look into this and I found that there's a lot of evidence that these nanotechnologies are counter beneficial to our health and can actually promote cancers of certain types. So take this concept. If this atom sized piece of titanium dioxide were to represent a football, your red blood cell would be the football field. That's how small these things are. So when you ingest them, they can literally go anywhere and apparently they do. So my takeaway message that I really wanted to share with you is that we all need to become label readers. We have been subjected to a lot of different things via industry solely for the purposes of increasing their bottom dollar. It's not for our health. We need to be shopping at our farmer's markets. And if you are buying something in a bag, box, bottle, or a jar, please turn it over and see if it's actually food. If it contains things that you either can't pronounce or it's some of these things that could be nanotechnologies because they don't have to label it as such. There's a number of FDA loopholes that allow generally regarded as safe levels to be put into our food supply without any testing, only because it's been used in other forms. But now that they um, make it into nanomolecules, it, it's, supposedly the same thing, but it's not. And it's not enough that entire continents of people have determined that it's not healthy for them. So we as Americans really need to take our own stand and say, you know what? If it's not healthy for humans on the other side of this pond, it's probably not healthy for us. So let's get back to basics and eat real food. That was my message for you today, just to plant a seed so that when you see things that are labeled as nanotechnology or you might come across something that's impregnated with silver or calcium carbonate or titanium dioxide, take note because it might not be that great for you. I hope that's helpful. Have a great day.